Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a motivational theory in psychology comprising a five-tier model of human needs. The five-step pyramid model proposes that base needs must be met before higher needs can be tackled. If a base need is not met, an individual's drive, desire and motivation will be to meet that base need, not a higher need. Let's look at each need in order. Then later in the video, I'll show you exactly what this hierarchy means for motivation and self-development. The base level on the hierarchy is physiological needs. This level encompasses all the needs that are fundamental to human survival. Without these, the human body cannot function properly and may eventually deteriorate. Examples of physiological needs include air, food, water, warmth, sleep and clothing. These are the most primal needs and take precedence over all other levels of needs. Once an individual's physiological needs are met, the second level of Maslow's hierarchy comes into focus – safety needs. These needs relate to the desire for security and stability in one's environment. This includes not just physical safety, but also financial and emotional safety. Examples are security of employment, health and personal property. The third level on Maslow's hierarchy is love and belongingness needs. Humans have an inherent desire for interpersonal relationships and a sense of belonging. This level emphasizes the importance of friendship, intimacy, trust and acceptance, receiving and giving affection and love, and being a part of various groups such as family, friends and colleagues. The fourth level is esteem needs. This revolves around the need for respect and recognition from others as well as self-respect and a sense of accomplishment. There are two types of esteem needs, the need for the respect of others and the need for self-respect. Examples of respect from others include recognition, attention and appreciation. Examples of respect for self include belief in your own competence, ability and self-worth. The pinnacle of Maslow's hierarchy is self-actualization. This level represents the realization of personal potential, self-fulfillment and the pursuit of personal growth and peak experiences. It is about becoming everything you are capable of becoming. Examples include pursuing creative activities, seeking spiritual enlightenment and striving for personal growth and transformation. The main way in which this hierarchy is used today is in thinking about how to ensure people's needs are met in order for them to thrive and flourish. In the classroom, for example, teachers need to focus on ensuring students feel a sense of safety and sense of belonging in the classroom. With these lower needs met, the students may be able to focus on developing self-esteem and working on higher level creativity tasks. A teacher might also observe a child misbehaving and, instead of rushing to punishment, they could reflect on which base needs are not met, which could be the base cause of the misbehaviour. For example, the child may just be tired or missed breakfast. By addressing these base needs, the child's misbehaviour may subside. This same mentality can be applied in the workplace, healthcare settings and personal relationships. For more on Maslow's hierarchy, including some critiques of the hierarchy and academic sources used to make this video, read my full guides linked in the pinned comment.